We're tracking new developments on the crisis along our southern border tonight. Today, Governor Greg Abbott shared more details about his plan for a new border wall. This comes amid an influx of migrants that are straining capacity at immigration facilities across our state. Taisha Walker joins us now in studio with a closer look at the governor's plan. Taisha? Chris, Governor Abbott says if the federal government won't do more to secure the southern border, Texas will have to do it alone. Today, he allocated more than $250 million of state funding as a down payment to begin hiring contractors and start building the wall. The governor is hoping that donations will help to pay for it, too. Cartels, human and drug smugglers and human traffickers, they, they're all profiting off of our open border crisis. Governor Greg Abbott in a press conference in Austin two hours ago laid out his plan to build a wall along the Texas-Mexico border. In the federal government's absence, Texas is stepping up to get the job done. The governor says his goal is to have Texas have its own border laws and barriers in place instead of relying on the federal government, which he says has failed to secure the border. More than 400 miles of a border wall was built during the Trump presidency, according to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The Biden administration recently called to end construction and redirect funding, which is why Abbott says he plans to use donations from across the country to help pay for the fence. Abbott says there are hundreds of miles that the state could use. The project manager can look to land that's already owned either by the state of Texas or owned by the local governments or owned by private citizens who want to volunteer that land for locations where a border wall can be placed. The governor says that would also help to keep costs down. Abbott says roughly $250 million is needed to start. It's Constitutional law professor Josh Blackman of South Texas wild. College of Law Houston um, says I, I there aren't any legal issues with the state accepting donations for the project, uh, but says the, the governor could run into other potential the challenges. Issues, this will take a long time. Um, the state would have to acquire land through the process known as eminent domain, where the state basically has to pay people for their property. Abbott says anyone who comes across the southern border and tries to damage the proposed fence would face criminal charges and jail time for trespassing and vandalism. This is not the first border wall crowdfunder. $25 million was raised back in 2018. It was very controversial because former Trump White House advisor Steve Bannon was accused of using some of that money. For more information on the Texas border wall, including how to donate, you can visit this story on our website. Click to Houston.com. In the studio, Taisha Walker, KPRC.